In this video, I'm going to give you all the tips that you need in order to deal with the hard rank reset in episode 8, regardless of where you got placed. I'll be covering how to fix your mentality, deal with your brain dead teammates, along with the players that are substantially better than you, and I'll give you the secret sauce on how to use this reset as a tool to actually improve instead of a reason to hate the game. Everything I say in this video is crucial for you to actually get to the rank you want, so make sure that you're listening closely and following what I'm about to say. With that being said, let's get right into it. The first thing that you need to do in order to utilize the rest of the tips I'm going to share with you in this video and actually hit a new peak is fix your mentality and stop letting the reset control the way you think and play. Very broad, I know, but let me explain. We all know that once your rank resets, you fall to a much lower rank, one you feel you don't deserve. And because of this, every single time you queue, you go into the game with the mentality that this is bullshit, you shouldn't be here, and you don't want to have to grind again just to get where you already were. And while that may have some merit, you cannot play every single game like this. You need to get over it and you need to accept that it's happened and start playing the games like it never did. If you don't do this, you're gonna end up playing way worse than you usually do because you have such a poor mentality that you can't focus on what you're doing and play the game properly. This will also lead you to blame your teammates and the game for where you currently are. And if you do this, you're never gonna rank back up. Remember that absolutely nothing has changed except for the little emblem underneath your name when you go to queue. Most of the time, you're gonna be playing against the exact same people and your games won't have changed that much. So start acting like it instead of complaining about it and posting all over your social media about how badly you got screwed by Riot. You need to adopt a growth mindset and look at it as an opportunity to hone your skills and improve even further. Think about it as a challenge to see how much quicker you can get back to your old rank and prove to yourself how good you've actually become. Remember that if you truly deserve the rank you were in, you'll get back there no problem due to the increase in RR gain and the decrease in RR loss. And you know damn well you deserve your rank, so what are you worried about? Nothing, right? Good. That's the mentality you need. And once you have it, you can use a rank reset for something better to actually improve. And in order to do that, there are a couple things that you need to do. When you're playing, whether you win or lose, you cannot be blaming your teammates. This is the number one thing that keeps people hard stuck. And yes, I know that might feel impossible to do, but listen to what I'm about to say if you actually want to hit a new peak. Like I said before, most of the games, especially in the beginning of this act, will be with the same people as before. However, there will be some games where you get matched up with people that are substantially better than you, and they will usually be on the enemy team, which is just super convenient, I know. Or you will get teamed up with people who aren't as good you and are truly in the rank that you got put down to which is even more convenient however when this happens for god's sake do not be blaming a silver player for playing like a silver don't yell at them or flame them because they made a bad play they're silver chill out you need to remember that at times you may be in a game with people who aren't your rank and while it may be hard to win it is not unwinnable if you play it properly instead of being a dick use words of encouragement and try and help guide them to play better give them tips on how they can change their gameplay or just hype them up if they're playing bad this alone can completely change the tide of the game simply because valorant is a game of momentum and if you start to lose and just tilt and bitch you don't have a chance of winning. However, if you don't tilt and lift your team up instead, you can end up winning a round and completely change the momentum of the game. It only takes one round to swing the game in your favor, and the 9-3 curse is a perfect example of this. However, if you start lashing out and blaming everyone but yourself and bring your team down even further, you truly will never get back to the rank you were in or hit a new peak. And quite frankly, if you play Valorant with this attitude, you don't deserve to rank up anyways. So stop being the reason that people think the Valorant community is terrible, be a better person, encourage your team, and start playing with your team, and you should win your games no problem, even if your teammates aren't quite as good as you. Since the rank has reset, this is the perfect time for you to actually work on your mentality and get better at placing the blame on yourself and realizing that there is always something that you can do to play better and help your team win. Self-awareness is a skill that is needed in anything in life, especially Valorant, where it is always a coin toss on who you're you're gonna get queued up with and the way you react to it can be the difference between you winning a game that seemed unwinnable or losing a game you should have won. And now that you know how to fix your mentality and deal with bad teammates when they arrive, you might find yourself in a couple games where the enemy team is substantially better than you. And when this happens, there are two things that you can do. You can curl up into a ball and cry while spamming F5 like a little pussy, or you can look at this as a way to truly improve and get better. Listen, everyone knows if you want to get good at something, you should surround yourself with people who are better than you at the skill you're trying to improve at. Well, this is a perfect opportunity for you to do this. So don't complain and instead 
Use this experience in your favor. When you go to play your games, you should have some kind of streaming or clipping software up in the background. And when you find yourself being put into a game with some higher ELO players, you need to record that entire game and VOD review it. This way you can watch the way that you're playing against people that are better than you. Make sure you're watching how they're playing and responding to what you're doing and learn from it. Take notes and write down everything you did that was right or wrong. Also study the plays that they're making. And if they get into clutch situations or win rounds you think they shouldn't, of analyze how they did it and why it worked. By doing this, you will not only get hands-on experience of what it'll be like to play in the ranks you want to be in, you will also be able to learn how to play at their level and exceed it by analyzing the games ahead of time. This way, by the time you get into that rank, you're going to be even better than they are. Now, if you can't run a clipping software while you play, what you need to do instead is utilize the time you have after you die. Instead of sitting there pissed off that you got one tap, use this time to think about what the hell went wrong and what you can do to fix it and make sure never happens again. Was it your positioning? Did you take a bad fight? Find out exactly why you lost a round and think of a way you could have played it better. This alone will help you recognize patterns in your gameplay that you need to change, allowing you to actually improve instead of just dying, tilting, and making the same mistakes over and over again, wondering why you're not ranking up. Because this is the only time you're not going to be losing a lot more RR than you gain, you need to use this time to actually improve on your mistakes instead of just playing the game to win. So once you've analyzed your gameplay through VOD reviewing or thinking about your mistakes in game, you need to write down what your weaknesses are and make sure that you write them down into a list from your biggest mistakes all the way down to the things you kind of need to work on, whether that's aim, movement, positioning, map awareness, utility usage, or anything else that you see in your gameplay. Once you've done this, every single time you queue up into your games, you need to start working on the biggest mistake that you found in your gameplay and solely focus on improving that. And once you have fixed the most prominent issue that you have, then you can move on to the next mistake you have on your list and start checking them off one by one. This will allow you to improve at a much faster rate instead of just hopping into your games pissed off, unfocused, and agitated. In order to truly deal with this rank reset, you need to fix your mentality and make sure you're doing everything in your power to become a better teammate regardless of the team that you're on, as well as use the opportunity you've been given to play against people you can truly learn from and hone in on the skills you actually need to improve to get to the rank that you want. So don't look at this reset as a bad thing. Instead, look at it as an opportunity in disguise. And now that you know how to actually deal with the rank reset, if you truly want to master your skills and finally hit the red rank in this episode, go ahead and check out this video next. 